Evan Sharp, do you think I could interrupt your meal and have you up for a moment, my friend? Evan was one of the reasons, along with Aisha, a couple of years ago, that we had a this dinner party for 18 people, right? And uh, recently, Evan, who's a co-founder of Pinterest, received an, a pretty inc incredible honor uh, that I think was something of great importance to to all of us who, who care about design. Johnny Ives uh, kind of pointed his finger. Wired Magazine selects the top 25 designers every year. It hasn't come out yet. It's still secret, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You look amazing. Yeah, it's good to yeah. see you. How's your golf game? Is it uh, I, I played uh, par three for the first time in year with my father and my brother last weekend, and I lost. So oh, fantastic. Never... And and t tell me about your coaching experience with Mark Thompson. Has it been this unpredictable, oh, really? You know, Has it always been this in. way? And he always has he has so many ideas, and I've got to, no, just kidding. He's Mark's amazing. Uh, I've been working with Mark for two, three years. Yeah. And um, um, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> he kind of, I feel like he knows where I need to be in in, in like in like two years. He knows where, I, where I'm going to be, but he doesn't tell me that. He just tells me the next step and lets me figure it out mm. myself. And it's much more of a guide, I think, and sometimes even amuse and inspires me. And um, <laughs> It's really a, it's an alchemical thing. It's, I'm the whisperer. It's a, <laughs> when you think about the, the journey you've been at, at Pinterest in, in building an organization that's really based on gratitude and love, it's, it's an organization, really a service that allows people to unlock their deeper interests. And who would have guessed that 200 million monthly active users would do that? Could you, could you talk about how you consider that you're drawing out the, the deeper interests that people have? And doing that with design, <laughs> I don't know that I'm self-aware enough to to answer that question. Um, yeah, I guess at a at a high level for me, the word design is really confusing. Um, I think at a high level, the simplest description is uh, design is about well, if engineering is about capability and what you could build, design is about suitability mm -hmm. and what you should build, mm -hmm. and so it's about developing an opinion, a strong opinion about what's right or, or useful or productive uh, with what, what we're capable of, what we should we do with that? And I think the internet, you know, obviously is a, a massive force in our lives. And so trying to build a more ethical internet, trying to understand the impact we're having on people is a really important part of the culture we're building. So ways we do that, obviously we measure everything at scale, but we also invest quite heavily in talking to people one-on-one, -on -one, uh, talking to users. We fly, you know, Ben and I will fly, Ben's the CEO twice a year out now to somewhere new. We've never been to meet with a bunch of people uh, where they live and just kind of understand how they're using the phone and how they're using Pinterest and what they love and what they hate and just try and contextualize all of the data mm. with more, uh, with a more holistic picture of the impact we're having good and bad. So I think that gets at your question. Mm -hmm. the, the deeper issue, you started out as a, a thinking about architecture as being a future mm. and now you're doing that in a two dimensional universe that's becoming kind of three-dimensional uh, and allowing people to kind of tap something deeper in themselves. How would, how would you define Pinterest at, at this moment in terms of what that service means? You've been thinking about that a lot. Well, it's weird. I was, I was studying architecture and then built Pinterest as a side project. It's like this, that's how it works, right? Um, in the internet, at least. And, um, but what's interesting for me coming from that background is it, it's not an exaggeration, I think, to say that people the architecture people live in today is very much, I mean, social media is where we spend so much time in it. So these digital environments and the, the characteristics of those environments and how you feel in them about yourself are a big part of the quality of people's lives, whether it's conscious or not. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, I've been on a journey the last couple months, as you know, yes. trying to better understand and articulate um, um, what's different about uh, Pinterest. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to get into this. It's a lot. It's a long conversation. Um, what do you think is the most interesting, Mark? Well, for me, the, the, this, this, you used to define it as a catalog of oh, of interests and ideas, and and now you've been able to go through kind of deeper and deeper ways of of helping people mine what's important to them and what they care about. So, yeah, I think the. I mean, I think for us, the the what's the way to talk about this? The why behind yeah. it all is super important. Yeah. 
So, I mean, I, I just, I can't really summarize this up as quickly as I can. I'm sorry. We did like a little project uh, late last early this year. Yeah, right. Where, you know, we like interviewed 40 people for two hours at a time and asked them a lot of personal questions and they were kind enough to answer them about all those same issues and just started to understand, uh, through that, started to understand a, a more cohesive narrative about, again, the role of these internet apps are playing in people's lives, good and bad. And mm -hmm. through that, starting to understand how different not saying it's all good, but how different uh, Pinterest is, the yeah. role it's playing for a lot of people, mm -hmm. and how psychologically it has a very different effect. You know, it's not about sharing with friends. It's about connecting with yourself. And I think one theme that I learned um, talking to so many users now is, uh, for a lot of people, the experience of the phone uh, and the experience of constant sort of connection to friends, connection to the news and family, and um, that, that nonstop connection it's not necessarily bad by itself, but it's so much now it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And the impact of that, what I've learned from users, the impact of that is often people feel less connected to themselves. They kind of forget to take time to think about what their dreams are or plan out the future. Right. And they're constantly thinking about what's happening outside the world. And that has pretty big impacts on people's lives. It does. So that kind of gets at what your question was. It is. See, didn't he do a great job? Thank you so much, Evan. Thank it's you, been such an honor to work Thank with you, you over time. Thank you. <laughs>